So we, we briefly touched on this, but there's to some extent a shift or oh, there used to be a shift from system fonts to custom fonts. And now due to performance and like bundle size issues, there's somewhat also a shift to back to system fonts. So you have like this kind of a gap of like creativity versus performance. I, uh, I mean, I think that, I think custom web fonts are great. I mean, don't pick them just because you have to, but I don't think people do pick web fonts just because they have to. I think it's a way of expressing individuality and feel and that, that's a really good th- reason. And the the next module, it was gave me so much satisfaction to do to build, because the literally the only configuration a user has to do in order to use a custom web font is write font family, the name of the custom web font. They just write CSS. Um, next fonts downloads the font to the project, so it's first party served from oh. a third party. So no, not no no foul with German privacy laws, for example. There's first party in the project. No DNS pre-connect issues. Uh, it uh, injects the CSS into your CSS, so it's not a separate request. It does all of that automatically, so the user never has to touch a thing.